Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your video on dividing fractions. Target for today is that I can divide fractions and mixed numbers. This is a little tune to help you remember what to do when dividing fractions. And it goes a little like this, excuse my non-singing voice. Dividing fractions easy as pie, flip the second and multiply. Repeat it after me. Dividing fractions easy as pie, flip the second and multiply. Keep that in your head as we go. A multiplicative inverse or reciprocal is a vocabulary word that you're going to need to know for this. Your reciprocal, I call it, and you can write down the actual definition on your paper, but I'm just going to write a little blurb about it below. Reciprocal, I like to say as reciprocal is how I remember it. And so that is kind of the opposite of a number or the inverse of a number. Um, so, for example, if I said 6... The inverse would be 1 over 6. So it's the reflip or the flip of the number. So, for example, the reciprocal or reciprocal or multiplicative inverse of 2 thirds would be 3 over 2. So, multiplicative would be what you can multiply by. So, and what happens when you, if you were to multiply a number by its multiplicative inverse, is that they cancel each one for 1 and you would just end up with 1. So, this is the inverse property of multiplication. The product, meaning the multiplication of a number and its multiplicative inverse, is 1. So, for example here, 3 fourths times its multiplicative inverse, or reciprocal, of 4 thirds is 1. Because you would get 3 times 4, which is 12, over 12, which is 1. So part of this is just finding the multiplicative inverse or reciprocals of a number. So the multiplicative inverse of two-fifths. So we write two-fifths and we're really flipping it. And that multiplicative inverse is five over two. Multiplicative of inverse of two and one-third. Well, first thing we have to do is change it to an improper fraction. So we multiply three times two plus one. So we get seven over 3 is the same. Those are equal. Its reciprocal or multiplicative inverse is 3 over 7. Now you try it. So 5 6 multiplicative inverse or opposite or uh, multiplicative inverse or reciprocal becomes 6 fifths because 5 6 times 6 fifths is 30 over 30 which is the same as 1. For mixed numbers, remember we need to change them into improper fractions first. So we get 3 over 2 is equal to that. So the multiplicative inverse is 2 thirds. 8 is the same as 8 over 1. So its multiplicative inverse is 1 eighth. 4 thirds multiplicative inverse is 3 over 4. Reciprocal. So knowing our reciprocal or multiplicative inverse, now we can know how to divide fractions. So dividing fractions, here's your key concept. To divide fractions, what we do is we multiply by the multiplicative inverse or reciprocal. So 7 eighths divided by 3 fourths is really the same as multiplying by 4 thirds, multiplying by the reciprocal. That's where this little tune comes in handy. Dividing fractions as easy as pi, flip the second and multiply. So flipping the second number to its reciprocal and multiplying those two numbers together. Why this works. So if you think about the meaning of division, um, reciprocal. So 8 divided by 2, if I split 8 into 2, I get 4 in each group. If I were to say what is half of 8, that's 4. So notice that's the same result when dividing by 2 and when multiplying by 2 is reciprocal. Same thing here, dividing by 1 third and multiplying by 3. Same result. Why this makes sense. So the meaning of division, you know that one meaning of division is to put objects into equal groups. So look for the meanings as we go. So equal groups, or it's also to share. Zach and his friends are sh going to share three apples equally. How many are they going to share? So if there's three apples, we're going to split them into two 
Okay. Take away equal amounts. So Isabel is making bookmarks for a piece of ribbon. Each bookmark is six and a half centimeters long. How many bookmarks can she make from a ribbon? So taking away equal parts to share, putting objects into equal groups, and lastly to find how many times greater. So notice word problems are allowing us to see the different meanings for division or how they will be worded. So make sure that you are thinking about word problems and you read them more than once to help you. All right, let's do this. Let's divide by a fraction. So we're being asked to divide 3 fourths, divided by 1 half, then we're going to write in simplest form. The steps to division are right here. You may write them down now, pause, and then try or follow along and then see if the steps make sense to you. Up to you, the joy of learning at your own pace. So first thing is they're already written in fraction form, so the first step is completed. Second step after they're in fraction form is to flip the second fraction to the multiplicative inverse. So I do 3 fourths and then 1 half multiplicative inverse is 2 over 1 and I change division to multiplication. Now these last three steps are really just multiplication steps. So I multiply my numerators, I multiply my denominators, and I'm going to simplify my fraction. I see that they share 2 Notice I could have, if I'm simplifying already, I could have done that ahead of time. So then I get 3 over 2, which then simplifies to 1 and 1 half. Now you try. So I, a lot of people too also say keep, change, flip. Keeping that first number, changing the sign, and flipping the second number. That's also a way you could think of it. Cross cancel when you can. So I really have 3 over 1 times 1 over 1, which is 3 over 1, which is the same as 3. So 1 fourth of 3 fourths is 3. Here I have 4 over 5. Keep, change, and flip. Cross cancel where you can. 4 goes in here once. 4 goes in here twice. Multiply across 1 and 9 is 9, 5 and 2 is 10. That is simplified. Greatest common factor of numerator and denominator is 1. Last time, dividing as fractions as easy as pi. Flip the second and multiply. So you notice I have different strategies or different ways to think of it. Whatever you can do is fine. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 6 twice. 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 2 is 4, simplify, 4 goes into 5 once, with 1 of the 4 remaining. Mixed numbers now. Last little part here, dividing by mixed numbers. Steps are here, they're the same. We need to write mixed numbers as improper fractions first. So I'm going to keep this 2 thirds. I'm going to keep the division symbol until my numbers are ready. So I need to change this to improper, so 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So this is the same as what was written up here, but with an improper. Now I'm ready to keep, change, flip. Step 2, keep, change, multiply by the reciprocal, cross cancel where I can, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes in here 5 times, 1 and 1 is 1. 1 and 5 is 5, simplified. So, using those steps, why don't you try these ones, and then you'll be set almost to go. So remember, whole numbers need to be written as fractions as well. So this 5 now, this is the same as 5 over 1, divided by this mixed number as an improper fraction, is 4 over 3. Once they're in fraction form, remember shape, operate, simplify, shape them to fractions, then operate, then simplify. So I can keep this one as a, a number, change division to multiplication, and multiply by the reciprocal. Multiply across for 15 over 4. 
4 goes into 15 3 times for 12. 15 minus 12 gives us a remainder of 3 fourths. Ignore this negative yet because we haven't really done those yet. And I'm going to do 3 fourths divided by, and that changes to a fraction, so 3 halves. Multiply by the reciprocal, so keep, change, flip, cross cancel, that's a 1, sorry. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice, 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. Over here again, two numbers that need to be changed. 2 and 1 third becomes 7 over 3. 5 becomes 5 over 1. Keep the first number, multiply by the reciprocal. Nothing to cross cancel. So I multiply across numerators and denominators. Steps, guys, that's all it is. Last one, see if you can solve the word problem now. In planning for a party, five and one-fourth pounds of cashews will be divided into three-fourths pounds of eggs. How many such bags can be made? It says it right there, divided. So five and one-fourths divided by three-fourths. First make them into fraction form. That's 21 over four divided by three-fourths which is keep the first number and multiply by the reciprocal. Cross cancel, three goes into three once, three goes into 21 seven times. Remember I cross cancel so I don't have to simplify later. Seven times one is seven, one times one is one. Answer is seven bags can be made. Way to go ladies and gentlemen, go back to what you need to. Nice thing is, it's not much different than multiplication. So keep change flip, dividing fractions as easy as pi, flip the second and multiply. You're awesome, keep being awesome, be kind to others. Woohoo!